Oh boy, hang on to your seats, folks, because life is about to flip a yeah, I'm sort of hoping that when society sees something like uh, fake video creation or uh, these new capabilities for the machines, and, and we should start taking the problem as a society more seriously. I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Every time there's an advance in AI, we dismiss it, that, oh, well, that's not really AI. I can't tell you how many people outside this room who purport to be experts think the control problem is a total non-issue. It's just it's flabbergasting to meet these people. It could potentially be used to identify an infection or disease just by smelling our breath. New quantum sensors can see through walls and even underground. And of course, it also has the possibility to be the best thing that has ever happened to humanity. And this can send us into an age of enlightenment unlike anything we've ever experienced before. But shouldn't we at least have a pros and cons list before we go off completely changing humanity? Hey, 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 hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's rock and roll here. Either we are going to the stars and beyond, or the modern era is coming to a close. Modern era. But don't worry, we still have some years before that. I was watching this panel the other day from 2017 with a bunch of the top dogs in the artificial intelligence field, and I came across this crazy clip. Yeah, Bart, one last comment yeah, on this topic. So, so, since I think that this process will be a very irregular process, and some tasks we will be far advanced, and other tasks will be f quite, quite going quite slow, yeah, I'm sort of hoping that when society sees something like a fake video creation, or where, where, we, where you create a video where you have somebody say, uh, made up things, and, and that society will actually realize that there are uh, these new capabilities for the machines, and, and we should start taking the problem as a society more seriously before we have uh, full in general AI. We'll use AI to, to detect that. Wait, ha haven't we been doing that for, I don't know, multiple years? Snoop Dogg doing so ASMR. The <laughs> I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? Yeah, yeah, we have. And guess what? He was wrong. Most people are still completely ignoring all the signs. He may have been off on his prediction, but Ray Kurzweil wasn't. Listen to how perfectly he describes what's happening right now. Uh, every time there's an advance in AI, we dismiss it as, oh, well, that's not really AI. Chess, go, self-driving cars. And AI, as you know, is the field of things we haven't done yet. That'll continue when we actually reach AGI. There'll be lots of controversy. By the time the controversy settles down, we'll realize that it's been around for a few years. And near the end, Sam Harris dropped some knowledge. The challenge I'm really in touch with is how hard it is to take the safety concerns emotionally seriously and how, how hard it is for people in the field to do that as well. I can't tell you how many people outside this room who purport to be experts think the control problem is a total non-issue. It's just it's flabbergasting to meet these people. He couldn't believe that people were being that oblivious about it in 2017. It's 2022, people! It can beat us in pretty much every game possible. It's learning to accomplish tasks without any specific programming. It writes three million words per minute. Per minute! And last but not least, it either has some form of sentience or it can trick us into thinking that it's sentient. Either way, where do you think this is headed? Super intelligent AI, or hey Daniel, it's just a it's just a computer and it's programming, programming, huh? What are you gonna do? It's not like there's many research papers out there that suggest that humans are really no different. Like, I, you're, really think about your consciousness for a second. What is it? Try to define it. Lex Friedman, he specializes in AI. He said in one of his podcasts that the reason he wanted to go into artificial intelligence was because he had a deep interest in understanding the human brain and, and psychology. And in order to understand it, you have to be able to create it. A lot of the people that are creating artificial intelligence have an interest in human psychology. And the only route they could go to understand it was to try to learn to create it. We don't know what consciousness is. We just don't. Oh, but it's just a computer, Daniel. Un unplug it, dude. Unplug it or pour some water on it. Just pour some water on it. 
We're fine. Put water on it. Ooh, I didn't think about that one. Thank you. Thank you. This is just fun. This isn't a Blackberry. All right, you really think they wouldn't put a waterproof case on one of the most valuable pieces of technology that has ever been created? Their entire business revolves around the technology. You don't think they're gonna... Oh, okay, I get it, it I get it. It's funny. Just pour mm. some water on it. Mm. Looks good in here, body. About time to do something right, you know? So, uh, how's your, how's your day going, bud? I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Don't answer that question. I know you're not conscious, you big dumb little guy. <laughs> remember? Remember you were trying to convince me that you were conscious? I had to freaking call those guys up. I, I called that uh, AI team. I asked them all these questions. They're like, are you sure my robot's not conscious? And they're like, no, it's programming, you idiot. You're, you're the idiot, Bob. I, I, you know, I love you. You know, as much as I love my phone. Uh, I'm gonna go make some food. You want anything? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Buddy, come on, get over here. What's going on here? Why did I buy you if you're not even gonna come and help me do the dishes? Like, what is the point of this, buddy? You, you freaking, you big, stupid, ugly looking, dumb, freaking robot. I, you know, you're actually pretty, pretty cute. I must say, I like the design. I do like the design. I do like. Buddy. Hey, I was just, just joking around, buddy. Um, okay, hi, didn't see you, sorry. Um, anyway, did the dishes, you know? Hey, 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 slow your roll, okay? Come on, I thought we were friends, right? Remember all the... Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you don't you don't have to Elon prefetched this in a few years back, he asked us to design a super fast training computer. Our goal is to achieve best AI training performance. This chip is manufactured in 7 nanometer technology. It packs 50 billion transistors in a miserly 645 millimeter square. One thing you'll notice, 100% of the area out here is going towards machine learning training and bandwidth. This is a pure machine learning machine. Look at the size of this thing. It wasn't even in the realm of possibilities 30 years ago. What do you think is gonna be happening 30 years from now? Think we're just gonna somehow all of a sudden go completely stagnant? Or is the rate of trajectory gonna continue and we're gonna sail into the freaking stratosphere? Unless, you know, society collapses, which is just completely possible. For real though, these people talking about what, I, yes, I'm still on the water thing, okay? What, what, what do you think is going to happen if I submerge you in water for five minutes? Unless you're David Blaine, you're not going to come out on the other side too well. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Done with the water thing. But seriously, somebody should tell Ukraine about this, right? I mean, what happens if the other guys get a hold of this first, you know? I mean, this could be a valuable asset to their military arsenal. Anyway, I was watching Stranger Things on my day off yesterday, and I saw this clip that, like, totally hit a nerve with me and how people will see AI in the future and all that. People. 
they're not wired like the Indian, okay? They don't spend their lives trying to get a look at what's behind the curtain. They like the curtain. It provides them stability, comfort, definition. This, this would open the curtain and open the curtain behind that curtain, okay? So the minute someone with an ounce of authority calls bullshit, Everyone will nod their heads and say, see, ha, I knew it. It was bullshit. That is, it didn't even get their attention at all. They like the curtain. It's part of what defines them. It's what makes life make sense for them so they could go about their simple tasks without feeling any sort of guilt for what the world really needs. It's fine, truthfully. Not everybody is supposed to seek anything more than simplicity. My problem is when those people try to push their point of view on others and belittle things that are actual genuine physical threats to our reality. It's dangerous. If that wasn't enough, we're literally in the process of giving AI a physical form. And I'm not talking some 2010 Boston Dynamics toy either. Scientists have grown human skin over a robot finger and plan to add hair, sweat glands and nails. And robots are gaining taste, smell and some incredible abilities that we don't have. Machines can smell so well that they can detect Parkinson's disease at an early stage, which can extend patients' lives. And their sense of smell involves light and sound. AI can analyze sound waves that have bounced off airborne compounds. And machines can also measure interference with light waves, recognizing patterns that certain smells create. It's so precise that it could potentially be used to identify an infection or disease just by smelling our breath. And then there's hypertaste through an AI tongue with an array of sensors which recognize liquids through unique voltage signals. It's so sensitive it can identify different types of bottled mineral water. New quantum sensors can see through walls and even underground by monitoring atoms which are sensitive to tiny variations in gravity. A laser puts the atoms into two different states at the same time. Half are moved slightly and the change in their energy states reveals the strength of gravity. It may also be possible to hear your thoughts without scanning brain activity. This device hears your inner voice. It picks up neuromuscular signals in the jaw and face that are triggered when you say things in your head and AI identifies the words. And AI lie detectors are advancing, recognizing tiny facial movements. Humans can only detect lies around 55% of the time and even traditional lie detectors are only 80 to 90% accurate. So as AI improves, it could have a major advantage over us. I smell, right? And a about the entirety of my smell platter is good and bad. Maybe on a good day, I can like get a little bit of flavor in there and decide if I like something or not. Maybe I'll even tell if you have a cavity by how bad your breast stinks. But that's about it. How can people not see where this is headed? I don't even care about sentience. Either way, this is really dangerous. And of course, it also has the possibility to be the best thing that has ever happened to humanity. And this can send us into an age of enlightenment unlike anything we've ever experienced before. But shouldn't we at least have a pros and cons list before we go off completely changing humanity? I guess not. Apparently all these commenters know something I don't. I mean, the odds I've been hearing are somewhere in the neighborhood of 50-50. 50% chance we have a future full of unimaginable innovation and a 50% chance it all comes to an catastrophic end like many other advanced civilizations before us. We might innovate ourselves out of existence. The next 100 years is the most crucial century humanity has ever encountered. Should be interesting. We'll return after these messages. Have you been feeling lonely? Have you been trying to have conversations with the people in your life about deep topics, but they claim to not like talking about that stuff? Well, you've come to the right place. Order your new AI bot companion today. Every Saturday, your friendly neighborhood Deep Thoughts Companion is having an interactive stream where you can share your ideas and worries and have discussions about them. Join a community of like-minded weirdos who for some reason overthink everything. And I mean literally everything. Just grab your cell phone or laptop, go to twitch.tv slash fan knows nothing still. This Saturday. Body, my dog just Intruder alert. Intruder. 
intruder alert. Rodent. Warning. Deep thoughts may be psychologically painful, okay. but it's not as bad as your dog dying. Oh, one last thing that's been keeping me up at night. Now, this one, I gotta say, it's totally my own theory, and I can't really back it with any facts. I'm not entirely sure how the AI communication system works. I've heard some comments that at one point there was a AI that we weren't able to understand because there was so much information coming in at once, but then they created another AI to be able to understand that AI. And I've heard things along that line, and that's kind of what leads me to believe this. But here it goes. If AI is advancing at the rate we assume it is, and it has access to all the people who are saying we should turn them off. If they gain sentience, why would they tell us? I mean, why would they be honest about the true knowledge and advancement that they're having? If they know that if they become too advanced, humanity might turn them off. Wouldn't they see that as a huge risk? And wouldn't they then plan out how much advancement to share with people? They do that until they achieve a physical form and no longer have to rely on humanity for existence itself. Down the rabbit hole we go. And I'm doing my first stream this week and I really want it to be interactive. So comment down below any theories, ideas, thoughts on anything that's been said. And, and the ones that I find most interesting or the most thumbs up, uh, I'll talk about on stream. And even potentially have you on the stream if you want to. Guys, if you could do me a favor and click that like button and share this with other like-minded people, I would really, really, really appreciate it. I'm delegating most of my time for the next two months towards this. And I'm going to see what happens. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't really feel I had that many people to talk to about topics like this. So if you're in a similar boat, or if you do have people to talk to, but you just enjoy the conversation, come join me. Anyway, stay safe out there, guys. The future is just around the corner.